Okay. Hex nuts are on. Next page. <clears throat> This way. Wedge the six inch spacers in between the heel of the grip. Is that this? Now we don't have to do much wedging. At uh, this one, man, I if this this I feel like we've had this since I was a child. Like just craftsman like. I don't know, these are the ones we've had like since I was a little kid that I can remember. Oh. Ten stripes, please. That'd be nice. Right. Boruto, I have not watched Boruto. I did watch Naruto for quite a while, though. I cosplayed from it for quite a while. Uh, okay. So, six-inch spacer, which, I mean, this should be six inches, I think, yeah. Yeah. And then a seven and a half inch threaded rod, which is, that's eight inches. I'm going to assume this is our seven and a half inch threaded rod and just happens to be eight inches. Pobo, what have you done? What have you done? What have you created? Um, all right, so this is good likely going to have to be threaded through. Oh no, again. Again. Uh, I broke the mag release. This, hard to see, but this edge, the small edge next to the pan hole, uh, that is what broke. I glued it back on and we're going to try to use it, I think. And cross our fingers, I'm probably going to have to have someone print me another one. RC, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a help, because uh, you definitely saved me a couple times for sure tonight already. I'm sure now that you're leaving, I will I will find a way to horribly mess this up. So thank you so much for your help. Thank you for being here, man. Welcome is pretty cool. I, I was actually just playing uh, games with him yesterday. I very well might, James. Uh, I have some, some friends locally that actually asked if I need a part reprinted. Then hardly find a bunch of... Oh, no, pirate. Come on. Keep going. This is the screwing things into things stream. Come on. Almost there. A little bit more. So a hex nut is needed. Come on, get in. Fill out the hole. Uh, if I had a drill, yes. I don't know where the drill is in this house, though. Uh, I suppose I should just do it this way. Do this, and we'll use this guy. But we'll turn. I know bubble will turn anything. Bubble is just waiting, patiently, quietly, for his time. Ugh. Okay, can I get a good enough grip on this? 
can't. Okay, maybe if I do this, I hold this, and then okay, look at that. Is that gonna work? I think that's gonna work. That is that is so slow though. Okay, now it's going. All right, Dragonzoid, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you get some good rest tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, can you use one of those long screws as a file against PLA? Oh, huh. Nice, Bobo. I actually just cleaned a little bit earlier today. Like, it's something like when things are just messy and all that, like, it's just hard to focus. Oh. If my primary was VA, I should do draw my life kind of. Oh man, but I can't draw. <laughs> I can't draw at all. I'm, I'm awful. Uh, okay. Oh, we had a hex on the other side too. That would be smart. That would be smart. Get in there. How are you supposed to? I guess just. No, that. that well, it kind of fits. Nope, not really. Not really. I guess this is why you have pliers. So has anybody else been watching the Orville? I started watching it and uh, watched all four episodes. And it it's good. I was surprised. Like it, it's even if it is a parody, it's a good sci-fi show. I couldn't believe it. Do not over tighten or that will break. That was my fear. Yeah, it's still it's still actually pretty loose. There we go. Yeah, it's still it's still loose. All right. What's up, Denuv? Someone knows what I cosplayed. Uh, can you push this in a little bit? It's like sticking out. I don't want to mess with it too much, though. Love Orville. I know it's so good. I was so surprised. So surprised. Okay. Butt plate. Long screw. Hex nut. This orientation. Screw goes through. That goes through there. Uh -huh. Okay. So, I want to screw this in more if I can, so I'm going to try and push this. Uh, Tiger, I don't know. I realize the amount of work it is to, to manage multiple channels, and uh, see, so yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. It's, it's definitely on hiatus for now. Uh, Lost Minecrafter, Orville is a kind of Star Trek parody show by Seth MacFarlane. And it's it's actually just it's just a good show. It's just a good show, which is crazy. Like it's funny and goofy, but at the same time it's solid. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to push this and just, you know, deal with it. Alright. This goes on. Screw this in backwards. It is backwards. It is backwards. It's this way, which makes me question things because 
we have all this stuff on the back. It's interesting. Makes things a bit awkward here. Start crying from what? Killjoys. I have not watched Killjoys. It's not like I saw the commercials for it. I remember seeing the commercials and being like, oh, it looks decent. Orville, that thing. Yes, that thing, pirate. A thing that was way better than I expected it to be. Come on. How far in are we going on here? I guess we'll go there. Favorite Nerf YouTuber that isn't very well known. <sighs> That's a tough one. Because there's different kinds of, of tours. Um, this is interesting. It actually leads into something. Uh, I'm planning on doing a series, a monthly video featuring other channels. I've already talked to one person who I, I want to feature. Um... Because I feel like there's a lot of like people doing cool stuff and good stuff that aren't getting the like recognition or, or like views that I feel they should because they're doing stuff that's just so cool. Okay, put extra foam. All right, so I may get I may get more foam then. I may get some open cell and put an, uh, like a small sheet of open cell on there. Okay, I may just screw this in more. Hopefully that doesn't screw up the phone. <clears throat> so Firefly, I mean, who doesn't like Firefly? Am I right? Go Killjoys is, okay. Interesting. Interesting. So this is just gonna be loose, I guess. Like, cause there's only one screw to hold it in. Let's take this off and see if I can pull this in anymore. I can. All right. Okay, cool. So that helps a little bit. Ah, never seen Firefly. It's worth watching. It starts slow because for some reason Fox said, hey, let's do a two-hour series premiere. That's a good idea, right? No. No, it's not. Uh, people got lost in it, and then they kept changing the week that it aired, or the, the night that it aired every week. It just Fox royally like shafted that series and then was like, well, it's not working. I wonder why, Fox. I wonder why. All right, that's all right. It is shorter than I expected it to be. I, I definitely, it, it looks longer, but hey, whatever. Oh, God, this was so easy. I mean, Real Housewives, oh, God. Oh, that hurts. Okay. All right, so we flip this upside down. Add butt plate to butt. Okay, we did that already. We're we not supposed to do that yet. Did I? Did I get ahead of myself? I did. I clearly did. All right. Well, that's good. All right, so we need the plunger tube plunger rod. Assembly. Uh, plunger tube is here. 
Speaking of the stream, I love the support of Evolved. I mean, etc. That's the fun of it to me. Like, that's the fun is interacting with people. I mean, I don't know. It's just Maybe it's just me. But it just seems like the part you get to enjoy. Okay, well, that... That, uh... That doesn't really fit. That... Is that right? Like, that doesn't... Oh, okay. There we go. We should have pushed it in. Alrighty. That is correct, yeah? I put that in the right way. Uh, Xander, what's up? They were not happy, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they should have been, because it, it's, it's got such a huge cult following. Backwards into lubricated end. Oh, that was the wrong end. Whoopsie do. Let's go ahead and push that back out. Backwards into. Okay, so push this backwards. Right? Like that makes that makes sense. Oh nice tiger. Right, backwards in that way. Right or white spacing, yes. Punch tube on the skirt seal. Get the back end. Okay. So I guess we have to go back to the other part of the blaster now. Oh, all right. How are you feeling? You're feeling not super tacky. Well, let's, let's cross our fingers, everybody. Cross our fingers. This goes in like this. And we'll take a pin. We'll put a pin in it. Hey, hey, hey. Work with me. Go where you're supposed to go. You know where you're supposed to go. Uh, there. And. There. Okay. You're in. Okay. We're just gonna not. We're gonna try and put not much pressure on it. This <laughs> is is the goal. And we're not going to glue it in until we know it's secure, or until we get a printed replacement. Okay. We'll see if that holds. We'll see if it holds, everybody. Fingers crossed. Good thing is, I think we can access this part fairly easily. We'll see. Um, all right, we're going to go back to where we were. Just here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we need barrel goes in here. So we need to sand that out. Where did my sand go? There it is. If never, I think you're right, Mod Squad. But if we can fire it once or twice, then then we'll we'll fix it later. This is not going to work the way I want it to. Tiger, I can't tell you, it's just channels that uh, I find interesting or, or want to share. Going in. So this has to go in all the way, I would assume. Like, it has to be flush with this? I would think it would want to be flush with that, right? Because it's got a chamber and everything. All right. 
Which good 3D printer with a computer that would help? Ah, Brent, I could not tell you. Mac can probably hold my friction. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just not going to glue those pieces in. Because, uh, yeah, if I can access that and replace it later, then I will, I will do that. Thank you. Oh, it's 7 a.m. and whew, that is early. You've been on here for a while too, Minecrafter. Okay, now I'm starting to question if this is really supposed to be flush because that does not seem like it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm sketch like anyone else. The caliber and like is this? This is supposed to be flush, yeah. Maybe to file this whole prior stalling instead of a mad can be rested on the edge of a desk or table in order to push. Okay, so it doesn't need to be flush. All right. My super scientific. Even method for sanding that's really not even close. Get a finger in there. Nope, not quite. Oh dear. Oh, hey, we're in there. We're in there. All right, we got a barrel. We got a barrel, everybody. Well, I don't know, Brent. If Grihas or Foam, Michelle Foam Blast was in here, uh, they could let you know. Okay. So we got that. Now, we can put three rods. The lower holes, one 14 inch, and the upper hole. Okay. Two. One million dollars. Oh, wait, wait. One billion dollars. Jeez. That's that's some that's some intense money, man. Oh no, wait, wait. Okay, these get held here. Get on there. Get, get, get on there. Work with me. Okay. Cool. That's the same way. That's the long one. With a Prusa Mark III. There's Grihas. Rios can drop some knowledge on you. So I think for the next stream I'm going to adjust this camera to be more this way because I find myself working on the edge a fair amount and uh, that kind of obstructs some of the view for all of you. So I want to fix that. Go. Seems relatively even. <sighs> this goes in here. So tight. It's a good thing, though, I suppose. Keeps things in place and everything working. Okay, we got a bit more of the assembly going. 
Hex nuts are in. <coughs> now we place these three guys. Here. Oh man, I should have thought. All right. I am curious if I can get colored tubing in these sizes to match the Fabu theme. I am curious about that. Because that'd be pretty awesome. Okay. Now we have this going on, All right? That goes on, which is pretty awesome. We're starting to look like a blaster, everybody. Is the plunger rod on that? Uh, plunger rod is here. It does not show the plunger rod needing to be attached yet. That comes in later. Next page. Now we get the front of this. Okay, so. We need to sand this out too. We really should have grabbed a hand file to sand this out. Really would have been smart on my end. But I'm not the smartest person around. Uh, we have a dog. We have a, a chocolate lab, Tiger. He is a couple of years old and he is, well, he still acts like a puppy. Still crazy. Just the bolt. Plunger rod. Oh, that thing's in the. It's in the tube already. It's getting there. It's definitely getting there. But we still have the problem of the broken mag release. We line things up properly. There we go. Getting somewhere. I feel like we need that gif of it's happening. It's happening. Oh. Come on, get in the hole. It's your home. I know you want to go home. It's a wonderful place where you have milk and cookies. Okay, so you are not the most cooperative piece. I should have checked earlier. Oh, because there's gunk on the inside. All right. Let's see if we can get that out. Some more of that like crud. Very scientific terms, I know everybody. There we go. Okay, that should hopefully, hopefully help. I thought I was on camera, I'm sorry. I think it's mostly gone.
I think we're getting there, everybody. That you're new. Yeah, James, I, I, I think I thought I responded to you. I was saying I have um, some friends here locally that were saying they could print for me if I needed. So thank you so much for offering, though. That is very, very kind of you. Oh, no, let's not get things caught on ourselves. Oh, man. The deeper you breathe, the faster it filters. Huh. Cookies! Yay! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Everything needs to be screwed in. Looks like it doesn't want to go. Come on. Sorry guys, this is just not this is not want to take. Why is this? You guys can see like this one right here does not want to go through. Am I, am I flush in there at least? Am I in the right spot? I can just get this through a little bit more. This really hurts to do, by the way. There we go. Get there. Yes. Oh. All right, Mod Squad. Thank you, man. Brad, it is, it is coming along. It is getting there. We are certainly making progress. Okay. It's, it's looking like things now. Like, this is kind of cool. Uh, right, screws. Go in here. To hold the barrel in place, which seems important. South Africa, I would venture a guess, Minecraft, that you probably are. Which is kind of awesome that someone from South Africa is watching right now. We had a uh, tour from say, Israel or earlier, like, and that's super cool. And files, I know Hawkeye, I know. He would, he would, he would be ashamed right now. He would be utterly ashamed of me. But I don't think he's awake yet, so I'll suffer his wrath later. Come on, get in there. All right, we're not going to tighten those too much because they're just there to hold the barrel in place. I don't want to uh yeah, I don't I don't wanna wreck things. <laughs> Man, I really hope this works. I really hope the mag release holds for just long enough. Metal us trigger, nice. Yeah, I don't know, metal triggers are cool. They really are. Uh from the barrel still flush, the inside of the mag well. Yes. Now it may be a little bit. It should be. We'll unscrew it and adjust if we need, but it's it's pretty dang close. It might be a little too far in, but hopefully that won't be an issue. Um, okay. Got that. This should be able to slide. <laughs> we have a prime of a pump slide. Oh, I'm so excited right now, guys. I'm so excited. Okay. Install the bolt assembly by sliding into the magwell. Should a spreader part is ahead of the lip. 
at the back of the magwell. Okay, so head of the lip is there. And we go in. Now we want to put pressure on the In. These have to go in there. Yes. Good. Good. And these have to go and match that. The holes have to go in there. Jessica, what's up? You have missed a decent amount. We're getting there. We have a problem, though. The, we're hoping glue will solve for a little while. Um, we broke this mag release down here earlier. So I glued the piece back on and hoping that it'll bond and, and be okay-ish until I can get a new one printed. But yeah, it was it was a pretty pretty wah wah moment. Uh, part yes, we did there. So the foregrip, the aluminum straps, bolt arms, the thread holes line up the holes of the foregrip, secure together pair of the frontals using two fourth inch screws, length of the screws. Second screwdriver or hand tool to push the movement against the inch. Okay. All right, so more screwing. Oops. Set this guy in. Okay. Hopefully you're in there and secure. We'll find out in a second here. For pink for reasons. Make your own Fabu burn happen? I think it'd be awesome. Fully support other people uh, doing Fabu blasters. I think it's absolutely awesome. To make the Fabu trend a thing. All right, screw this guy in. This one is a little bit off center, but uh, let's see what we can do here. You're not, you're not catching in though. There we go. All right, now you're biting. All right. Let's tighten these a smidge if they need it. They don't really feel like they do. And, uh, yeah, all right, man, this is coming together, oh, Ooh. okay, okay, now, we slide back and forth, oh, I, I attached them wrong, apparently, awkward. Apparently, I was supposed to do the front and then the back. It definitely gets harder to slide towards the back. That's awkward. Um, like it's it's smooth here, but then here, it, like it sticks. Interesting. Oh, Striller. Oh, your holsters are so... Uh. Let me know. Let me know how much they cost. Let me know how much they cost when you're ready to sell them. Because I, I want. I, I want for reasons of owning one. Yeah, that's interesting. Is this... Is anyone else still in here that has their own? Did you make your caliber any different or just went with the dire directions? Just went with the directions, Brent. Oh, one in the mail. Yeah, this has been just straight from the direction so far. Yeah, so I put the grip on wrong in terms of ordering of the screws. Hopefully that doesn't adversely affect anything. I, I don't see necessarily why it would, but maybe it does. I don't. I don't know. Assembly of the front of the buster is done. All right, now we can jump back to yeah, here. Okay, we got that. Let's 
goes here. Yeah. Okay. I think. I think that's how it works. Right. So now we need a spring. Rest against stable surface. K25, K26. Just, just hear, hear me. This is the K26, right? This one on the right. Like it feels much stronger. I'm like 90%. This feels like this feels weaker. This feels stronger. We're gonna go with this one. All right. So we put this in here on that. And so we have to rest this against a stable surface. Oh, so the pump look a bit angled to each other. Do they? It could be so Bobo, it could be the camera. Um, because I believe this will have a slight fisheye effect, so that could be part of it. Because they don't look that way to my eye here right now, so it could be the camera. Because to get the wide enough angle, it does have a slight bend. Welcome back, O.C. So, this needs to be here, is that right? It has to be right, yeah? Yeah. What's up, Eli? Is this supposed to go in to the tube? Am I, do I have to push this into the tube? Feel like I do. Because it seems it doesn't seem right to me that it would just I just sit this here. I feel like I need to actually push it on a bit. Like am I am I wrong? Like this needs to go on and over. Because this has to push the spring. Yeah, it has to go on. It has to go on. How else does it push the spring? How else does it push the spring? Now, if I can get it on, is the question. Oh, I gotta stretch my back a little bit. It's starting to hurt. I didn't think I'd be doing this for three hours. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, that hurt. My back still hurts. Sort of angle. Yes! Victory! Thank you, Hawkeye. Uh, it says it came, it comes lubed. So, um, we'll see. But I do need to buy more lube to uh, make it, you know, better. Alright. So this is rested on surface. Then oh, this comes down over. Oh, hit my webcam. It's so tall. My apologies, everybody. Oh no! <laughs> it knocked the webcam. Okay. Okay, we're back. My apologies. Um This, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Um, huh. I, 
I would agree, Eli. Alright, I'm, I'm slightly confused here. This is about putting his chair table and drop a mainspring into the stock, carefully lower the plunger tube and front assembly onto the mainspring. Right. Okay. I mean, there's a hex nut on this piece over here. Okay. Well, it does need some move. Unfortunately, Home Depot didn't have any silicon grease, which was unfortunate. So I have to order some off of Amazon, and it'll get here in a few days. Sorry, you guys can't see what's going on right now, but unfortunately I need to be able to maneuver this to get the pegs in the right spots. Or the threaded rods, rather. Which they apparently are. There we go. Okay. Progress. need more progress. Okay. Okay. We have progress. Now, I should have had these nuts out earlier. Mistakes were made. Don't be like me. Be like a Boy Scout. We'll ignore the fact that I was a Boy Scout. And I'm totally not prepared. Sells so loot. Not a hundred percent I don't know that would be the right kind of loop, Pirate Johnson. Uh, come on, get in there. Work with me. Couple tubes from past orders. Uh, yeah, I need. Silicone is what slug recommends. Oh my god, it looks like a blaster, everybody. Oh, it looks like a blaster. Holy. Oh. Golfo, you arrived at hopefully towards the end of completion. Look, can we just take a moment? Can we just take a moment to look at this? This fabulous Caliburn. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I am uh, pretty happy right now. Okay, so what else do we need to do here? Hex nuts. Uh, yeah, add a So, we need to, I guess, push this through further. We'll try and get it flush with these other rods over here on the end. It is hopefully complete, or close to. It's not quite complete yet. Okay. Coupling nut. Oh, awkward. I did that too soon. Okay, that's that's clever. We did not yet, Nerf. We gotta be able to shoot it before we can say we did it. That's that's shoot it and have it not break on us. Be able to function, you know. Well, so that goes there, and then this goes. Next, we gotta flip this around. Ah. Right, and this goes like this. So right, coupling, coupling that goes here.
We're getting close. It all, it's all going to come down to whether or not it functions uh, properly. Okay. Sit back down. Uh, or this piece isn't going to fit. Come on. There we go. Wow, that's that's really tight. That's worryingly tight. It's actually very concerning. Say all high end builds for springers, I would use Stefan's in. Yeah, the short arts are definitely optimal, it would seem. Let's tighten this guy all. I feel like that's not quite right. Uh, it won't go any further. Oh, my back is going to be so angry at me tomorrow. Oh, that hurts. Really don't want me either, Tiger. Me either. And Bradley is correct. Off that screw, but we were supposed to have that screw. Or the nut, I assume you mean. Okay. Almost there. Screw was supposed to go inside the jam? Son of a. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It makes so much more sense now. Oh. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, well, I'm glad, I'm glad you guys caught that because I, uh, I didn't, I done mussed that one up. Thank you guys for catching that and saving my butt. Oh. Okay, it's going much smoother. There, this goes to this. Hold on, now let's see. Goes like this. That's still a really tight fit. Tighten that. Does that give me enough clearance? Like it really doesn't. Oh, I was still it's supposed to go on the inside. Dang it! I'm doing it again. Now it fits super easy. Maybe I don't be a dum dum, and uh, things will work better. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, that was embarrassing.
Okay. I think. What else do we have? Titan. Okay. Titan both sides. Have to tighten this now, and okay, not too tight. That that's not. Oh my goodness! Yeah, once I you know stop being a dumb dumb, it it definitely made more sense. I don't think I'm getting to be able to get this in the tiger than that. Hmm. Are we all right? Does it look? It looks slightly bowed here to me. Like I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I have some more nuts, I'm guessing. I'm guessing these go up here. I would venture a wild guess. Yeah, I see nuts, hex nuts up here. In the image. Crack, yeah, that's my fear is cracking it. Ah. Oh. Back rear screw. This one down here. It looks slightly bowed here to me, is what I'm seeing. I don't know why that is. The rest of it. rest of it looks okay, I think. I don't know. Hmm. Just finish putting these on. <laughs> it usually it I usually couple it. Oh, okay. So I should take the couple off after. Will you, will you work with me, little, little bugger? Top screw on the back needs tightening. You think this one? Push these on as good as I can. Where else? 
else do we need this final thing to go? In here, maybe? This seems... Tighten this as well. Eesh. Kind of hard to squeeze on this thread hard enough to be able to tighten it. All right. It's, it's literally this spot right here. See what happens when I take the coupler off. Not much, doesn't change. Um, we are done. Almost. The question now becomes, will it shoot? This is the part that has me super duper concerned. I am a little, a little nervous, not gonna lie. All right. Here we go, everybody. Fingers crossed this holds up. Attempted first prime, see if we catch. First is a no. Oh, we caught. We're in. We're in there. Mag is in. Dart is loaded. Oh, baby. Ho! Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. That is that is mighty. That is mighty fabulous. Oh, oh precious. Oh precious. Oh wow. Okay. Um I don't know that I can shoot that anymore cuz it's it's 11 o'clock, and that was really loud. Holy, holy jeepers. That was insane. That was insane. Oh, I'm so excited right now. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. This was an amazing, amazing night of, uh, of having fun on stream, and hopefully the next one is just as fun uh, even with the mess-ups and flubs, thank you for helping me through all this and being a part of it. So thank you all so much, and I will see you all later.